What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Sit Down Saturday, and today we are doing a versus of the KFC Dicka as well as the Star Lord. Star Lord. I just saw Guardians recently. The Star Toys Commander. Battle of the Blitzwings. The Blitzwing Bop. And I want to say this straight away, I'm not a huge fan of the Dicka figure. I bought it as a placeholder. I'm not a huge fan of it. I think I bought it during when we were all in quarantine. I think. I'm not 100% sure. But I do want to get that out there. There's another thing I got to get out there, and that is that I never flipped my wings down on my Blitzwing's feet because when I did it on the one I reviewed, it got all loose, and I didn't want to do that to mine. So that's why it's there. just is what it is. You have to bear with me on that one. And then per usual, we have to have some sort of guide or reference. When comparing these, we use the Sunbow chart. If you think it's inaccurate, that's fine. I do too at times, but at times we have to still take a look at this. And other than that, I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys have been enjoying the verses. I'll be back on Patreon next week for Sit Down Saturday. But in regard to this, you know where we start? We start with accessory-wise. The Star Toys comes with an alternate face, a sword, and a gun. The KFC comes with an alternate head, sword, gun, football, and I guess you could say they technically both come with missiles. So the accessories is going to go to X Transbots or KFC. Moving on to gimmicks, the KFC had the spring loaded slash spring action missile launchers as well as electronics for the sword. So KFC is going to take the gimmicks as well. Moving on to build and materials. So the build is easily going to go to Star Toys. It is a very well built piece, a surprisingly well built piece. At least the one that I had the opportunity to look at. The Dicka, as you know, had all sorts of issues. This is the second release. The ankles are still an issue. On top of that, there was other things like the sword translucent plastic wasn't properly assembled. Just tons of build issues. This was not KFC's best era. And as a result, I'm giving the build to Star Toys. The materials, it's a wash. They both have die cast. They both have good plastics. The plastics aren't amazing, but they're both good, good enough. So I'm going to tie them out for materials. I'm also going to tie them out for hardware. They pretty much have the exact same hardware. Ratchets in the shoulders, ratchets in the hips, ratchets in the knees. So nothing really extremely noteworthy in that department either. Moving on to sculpt and paint, starting with the full frontal view. I don't, I'm not crazy about either one. I think that the KFC chest is more interesting. I don't like either one of their faces, like just from the perspective of looking straight on them, but I feel like the KFC head is a little small and the actual dome of the head is a little stunted. I also think like the backpack looks a little little bit just messier with the KFC so I'm gonna have to give the Star Toys the kind of overall frontal presentation even though I'm not crazy about that either starting with the head sculpt I, I gotta go with the Star Toys the Star Toys has the top of his head whereas the KFC one looks like the, the head has been cut off I don't really have a preference over silver face or a white face but I do have a preference with the yellow and the yellow that's like a golden paint on the Star Toys just presents better than the paint choices and lack of paint choices on the yellow with the KFC from the side same sort of deal. I hate the way that the kind of purple piece on the Blitzwing from KFC kind of hides most of the majority of the helmet and face, whereas the one from Star Toys shows much more the helmet, much more the face, and as a result brings about much more character. As for the torso from the front, I think the KFC is much more interesting. There's a lot more paint breakup with those two side panels. Also, there's more of a clearly defined abdomen. It's not just a stripe. Now, I get that the other one is more accurate, but that's a whole separate category, isn't it? I just find it to be a little bit more interesting even the lines on the yellow that are a little tighter together it just makes it look more interesting to me than the wider shape yellow but they both have the red and yellow accents but kfc also has the silver accents on the side of the chest which isn't accurate to the cartoon model although neither is the star toys in that regard it's supposed to be a darker purple from the side i mean i don't think there's a huge difference between the two obviously the backpacks on both are large and in charge i don't really find either one of them to be a knockout Moving on to the arms, from the front of you, even though the KFC has more sculpted detail, it doesn't really come through. It doesn't make that much of a difference. So I'm going to tie them out because they're both pretty plain and simple and neither one of them have like a pain on it. So there's nothing really to talk about there. From the side, different beast altogether. All of the kind of vehicle accents that come through on the side of the arm to me, both in sculpt and paint, bring it to life so much more than the Star Toys version, which gives me credence to give point for arms to KFC over Star Toys. 
I'm going to be honest with you, this should have been a knockout for KFC against the Star Toys, but I'm actually surprisingly going to give it to Star Toys here because of that big gap in that middle of that pelvis from, from KFC. And the problem is, is it's too clean. Both of them are too clean. So since they're too clean and one has this awkward hole in the middle, now it stands out and looks weird. Neither one of them are painted. You know, neither one of them look good in my opinion. But if I had to choose which looks better, it would be the Star Toys just because it looks slightly more cohesive. From the side, I think it's a tie. Neither one of them look great. They look relatively similar, just different shapes of hip flaps. The, f the legs from the front, neither one of them have paint. I got to give it to KFC. I like the kneecap. It makes it look slightly more interesting. Feet are about the same. The thigh shape, I prefer the KFC as well. Has that little bump out at the upper hip, upper thigh area. I think it looks better. That's all I got. Uh, from the side, I don't think that either one of them are great. And I think that both of them make huge mistakes. Obviously, the wings cover down better on the Star Toys. Neither of them have any real sculpted detail. There's the gaping hole on the Star Toys. So I'm tying them out there. From the back, I think I'm actually going to give it to KFC. Like the whole jet forms up the back. Back plate, it ends up looking a bit better, whereas all of that kind of beige khaki plastic on the Star Toys sort of looks unsightly, breaks it all up, there's holes in it, etc. etc. I don't think that either of them are especially bad, but I think there is stuff to say that's more positive about the KFC than the Star Toys. So Star Toys takes the frontal view, the head, the pelvis by some weird reason. KFC takes the torso, the lower legs, the arms, and the back. I'll tie them out for the upper legs, and that gives KFC a heads up and sculpt over the Star Toys, which I think is fair because there's not a lot of sculpt to the Star Toys. Star Toys head is on a ball peg. Now, I missed uh, additional articulation apparently with it, but that's because it unplugs the uh, neck piece when you go to do it. So it gets all the way up. Let me tell you something. I 100% would have not given that all the way up credit. I would have given it... Uh, maybe to there, but it does get up. All right, you get the swivel and you get a look down and you get a little bit of confused blitzwing face. The KFC is a hinge swivel. You get up, which I would tie them for, honestly. You get down, but you don't really get much of the swivel because you had to undo the transformation. Now, once you undo the transformation, you can get it, but even getting stuff off to the side proves to be a little bit challenging. So I'm going to, by, by a technicality, I'm going to give it to Star Toys there. Shoulders on a universal get you up to 90 degrees and 360 till you bump into a shoulder. It's the same for Dicka, up for 90 degrees until you bump into the shoulder, basically, and out to the side, but even that's a little limited. You got to kind of undo the shoulder plate to get the full range and even then you're kind of beating up against stuff so i'm going to give the shoulder once again to star toys bicep swivel bicep swivel double hinged elbow double hinged elbow both get you the full run wrist swivel hinge outward thumb is double jointed actually it might even be yeah it's triple jointed and all of the fingers are double jointed but i'm missing a finger i'll have to try to find that because uh, this doesn't belong to me, but uh, yeah, so the fingers are double jointed. Wrist swivel, fingers double joint, triple jointed at the thumb. One, two, three, triple jointed on the uh, fingers, and plus you get to spread them apart, so the fingers are better articulated on the KFC. Waist swivel with an ab crunch, ratcheted waist swivel, no ab crunch. Hips are universals; they get you out for ninety degrees forward to 90 degrees and back as far as they'll go once again universals do not get you out to 90 degrees do not get you forward to 90 degrees but do get you back about the same amount of range thigh swivel thigh swivel double jointed knee that gets you past 90 degrees significantly so single jointed knee that gets you past 90 degrees but not as far ankle tilt up it's minor ankle tilt down that's minor and a rocker angle tilt up that's far more slight ankle tilt down but a limited rocker a more limited rocker i should say so they both have bicep swivels both have double jointed elbows getting you the full range both have thigh swivels and i'm going to tie them out for the ankles because the kfc has a wider range up the 
Star Toys has a wider ankle rocker. And then Star Toys takes the head because it can look sideways easier, takes the shoulders for a wider range of motion, takes the wrist for the hinge outward, takes the waist for the ab crunch, takes the hips for wider range, takes the knees for double jointed, and KFC takes the fingers, which gives Star Toys the easy win in the articulation department. Moving on to transformation, the Star Toys moving from both modes is surprisingly smooth. There are some points that take a little bit of effort, but the materials and the assembly is made in such a manner that you can easily sort of get from one to the other. And once you figured out one mode, the second mode is incredibly intuitive. The majority of the movements are smooth. And with this exception of this little missing finger that I'm gonna have to try to put my finger on, everything stays intact. The Dicka is much more frustrating and came from a KFC era where things were a bit more frustrating in general. Watching me go through the motions once again this morning, I was like, man, I do remember this. And there was a number of places that kind of hang you up or hold you up or don't move as smoothly as you'd like. And as a result, I'm gonna give the transformation point to Star Toys. Alt modes, we'll start with the Jet. The Jet for the KFC just doesn't translate quite as well. It doesn't do as good a job of cleaning itself up and looking presentable as a clean Jet. It looks like a tank and a robot that try to become a Jet. Whereas the Star Toys definitely pulls Jet mode off. It's smooth, it's cohesive, it looks like a Jet. It doesn't look like it's trying to be a Jet. It looks naturally so. So I'm giving Star Toys Jet mode. However, the tank mode on Star Toys is a joke. The tank mode on Dicka is amazing. Not only because of all of the sculpted detail, but also being able to take the accessories into account that I didn't even mention, but all this stuff on the sprue, but it just looks like it's meant to be a tank. I think KFC took the shortcut with jet mode. I think Star Toys took the shortcut with tank mode. And as a result, I'm tying them out because one does the tank better and one does the jet better. Scale wise, the shoulder line for Blitzwing is supposed to be slightly taller than where a Masterpiece car ends up. So arguably they're both too big, but because the KFC one is a shorter robot, now the junk on them, the back, the kibble sits up higher, but the actual height of the robot is shorter. I'm giving them the point because it's a little bit more accurate, but neither of them are especially so. Price is tricky and I'm going to exclude it for the first time ever in a versus because I can't find a price price for Dicka from an overseas retailer. And the only price I can find nationally here in the States for Commander is from Toy Dojo. And that's because everybody's scared to touch it because it's made by a KO company. So I just can't have a valid comparison. Dicka went for 150 in the States. The only place that's carrying it in the States that I can find for Commander is Toy Dojo and they have it for 170. But I know everywhere else it's 100. So I don't think it's fair to give the point to Dicka, but I can't give it to Commander either because I don't have a valid Dicka price to compare against it. So I'm tying them out because I can't find valid information. In terms of accuracy, I don't think it'll come to anybody as any surprise that Star Toys takes the cake. And not even by a little bit, right? By a lot of bit. If that's the look that you're hunting, that's the figure to go with currently. No doubt about it. Easy, easy category that's a win for Star Toys. All right, which one do you think looks better? I guess this one. And you think the same one feels better? Yeah. All right, Jana, which one do you think looks better? This one. This one over here? Yes. All right, so the same one feels better? Yes. Okay. All right, which one do you think looks better? That one. Which one do you think feels better? Mm, I don't really know. Ty? Yeah, probably, because that one's way too heavy on the wings, but that one feels like a Lego man. Okay. All right, which one do you think looks better? The white one. This one? Mm-hmm. Okay. And which one do you think feels better? The same. The same one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Which one did Jaina think? Same. And here we are. So they tie at the materials because they both use pretty good plastics and both incorporate die cast. They tie at the paint because neither of them use it to an impressive degree, but they both use accents and such and get the job done and they're all done clean and sharp. They tie in alt modes because KFC nails tank mode, Star Toys nails the jet mode. And they tie in price because I can't really evaluate a fair measuring stick to compare it. Star Toys takes the build because there's so many build issues with the KFC. Star Toys takes 
the articulation by a landslide. Star Toys takes the transformation somewhat surprisingly, as well as the presence, which is mainly due to my children, which I do think says something. And of course, Star Toys takes the accuracy. KFC takes accessories and gimmicks. That's a very black and white issue there. I'm also giving KFC the hardware point. I know I say I tied them in the beginning of the video, but KFC actually has a ratchet in the waist that I didn't count when I was going through it. KFC also took the sculpt. Somehow it weaseled that through. And KFC takes the scale because it's slightly smaller, which gives us a total score of a tie 5-5, five, five, which I think is fair. I think if you want something that's super G1 accurate, Star Toys probably does it well enough, even though it has a few issues. And the KFC, we all know the KFC's issues, but if you want something that has a little bit more sauce on it, that's it's still a, a decent representation just visually. I'm not sure if I have a preference between the two, honestly. I, I bought the KFC as a stand-in and am not entirely satisfied with it. And if I didn't have it, I'd probably buy the Star Toys. I'm not sure, just as a matter of price in terms of what I can get it for. But yeah, five, five. So there it is. And look, if you think that the pricing thing isn't fair and you want to give Star Toys a point for pricing, I think that that's fair. I get why you would do that. I just wasn't comfortable doing it. But I get why you would take that approach. It was a tricky, it was a tricky one to do, but it's because of that KO situation, nobody really wants to touch it, you know what I mean? So it was hard to find something that was really kind of competitive. And I'm okay with the score, ultimately. I'm not taken really with either one, and I think they're both kind of average figures in different ways. That doesn't mean I wasn't impressed with some of the stuff on both, but not, neither one of them really blew me away. But let's talk about them as kind of workable figures in your collection. So for display, we take into account build, sculpt, paint and presence. Star Toys takes the build and the presence. They tie and paint and KFC took the sculpt, which makes the Star Toys a better display piece, which I think is ultimately fair because of the build. Had the KFC been built better, they would have been tied and I think that's fair. As for the best transformer, that's gonna come down to build, materials and transformation. They tie in materials, but Star Toys takes the build and the transformation, making the Star Toys the better transformer. And I'd agree with that as well. And then most playable comes down to build, materials, articulation, transformation, and accessories. Star Toys takes the articulation and transformation, as well as the build. They tie in materials, and KFC takes the accessories. So as you can see, the Star Toys wins in a lot of categories when you isolate them. And I think that's fair. I don't have any complaints with, with those results at all. So yeah, that's it. I've done both of these verses, this one and last week's in the same day. I am done with making videos for today specifically about Transformers. So I'm out of here. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.